guys. Thanks for stopping by Smoking Steve's today. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a basic uh, review of the DJI uh, Action 2 camera. Uh, I just bought this guy uh, here recently and uh, uh, I haven't even charged it up or uh, got into it yet, but uh, we're going to go over some basic things on it. Uh, so maybe you're uh, looking at, at it to buy one, uh, uh, trying to familiarize yourself with one or whatever. But uh, uh, normally we're cooking up something around here and, uh, you know, I got a hundred and some videos on uh, uh, cooking with different grills and uh, different methods, smoking, grilling, uh, uh, what have you. And uh, you might want to check some of those out too. But uh, we're going to kind of venture off into some uh, other things on this channel. We're still going to be doing the cooking. Uh, we're still going to be doing product reviews. And uh, we're going to have some uh, videos on uh, some uh, biking adventures and uh, going out to the beach and looking for shark's teeth. And uh, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff on here. So uh, you want to make sure you subscribe and uh, ring that bell for notifications uh, whenever I come out with a new video and uh, check those out. So let's go ahead and get started uh, uh, with this uh, DJI, DJI Action 2 camera. Uh, as you can see, it's a modular camera and it's magnetic. Uh, now I've done my research before I bought this. Uh, I was looking at the uh, uh, GoPro, uh, a lot of them, the Insta One, uh, a lot of different cameras, but I like this because of its size. So let's go ahead and open this up and uh, take a look. First of all, it uh, comes with this. This is uh, probably the manual. Quick start guide safety guidelines and uh, I did look at this and uh, you got a few little pictures here uh, on the front and back and uh, that's about the extent of this but I did go online and uh, there's a lot of information online and I'll have some of those uh, uh, shots of the uh, online manual within this video to so you can refer to those as well so let's go ahead and pull this camera out Here's the way it's packaged. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull this camera out. Look how small that is, guys. It's really small. About the size of my uh, glass lens. So let's go ahead and pull this out of the plastic. And you got some little uh, protective shields on here. Just pull those off. There's the uh, uh, display for the camera. And then on this other side, peel that off. And uh, there's the lens. Okay. Again, I just love this size. Uh, now this is the camera and it will work on its own. Uh, there's uh, 32 gigabytes of onboard memory. Uh, and that's not gonna record a long shot for you, a uh, long video, uh, only 32 gigs. So it's uh, not a lot of information can be stored on it. But uh, the next time we're gonna pull out, well, let's talk about this camera a little bit first here. Uh, this, uh, this up here in the corner here is the status LED. Up on top, you have the uh, power record button. And down here in the corner, this little hole here is the microphone. And of course here in the middle is the lens. So, uh, and on the side here, let me see. There's a place for a lanyard uh, right here. These two little 
holes right here. You can stick a little lanyard through there and uh, strap it to your wrist or strap it to your body somehow so it, it doesn't fall off. Really small. I'm liking it. And uh, next in the box is the power module or the battery. Now, uh, this package here, they call it the uh, uh, DJI Action 2 uh, Power Combo. And uh, I really wanted the uh, Creative Combo because it comes with a front facing camera and a lot of other accessories. But I was able to pick this up uh, at a good price. And I also bought a front facing camera and I got that less for the uh, less than the uh, original uh, creative combo package and uh, even was able to buy some a few accessories uh, not many but a couple and uh, still stay below that uh, creative combo package price so uh, worked out for me uh, maybe a little different when you get ready to buy or whatever but uh, I'll have links underneath the video where you can check those out, uh, check the prices out, uh, look at different combinations. Uh, it's all good stuff, guys. But let's take a look at this uh, power module. Get this uh, thing unpackaged here. There she is. Same size as the camera. And uh, what happens is, this has a, a battery in there, uh, but it's not going to last a long time. So you want to extend that battery life by snapping this on there. Man, that magnet is strong. Well, let's turn it around and get it on the right way. Right there. Okay. Battery. Camera display and uh, that supposedly extends your battery life uh, to about uh, 180 minutes uh, now that's all depending on your uh, uh, frame rate and resolution or all your settings on your camera and by the way this has a million settings and uh, we're probably not going to go over all those today like I said I haven't even powered it up or uh, charged them up yet so uh, we will be doing that as a uh, uh, maybe the next video, uh, we'll talk about some different things and uh, expand on this camera. But that's the size of it. It really looks good. They make different mounts for it and uh, so forth. So to unclip it, there's two little clamps on each side right here that you push in. And you pull them apart. And that magnet's strong, really strong. Put it together, push those clamps in. Voila. Okay, let's go ahead and look in the box, see what else is in here. Okay, you have a USB to a C adapter cable for charging. Little package here. This guy here, this is really going to prove to be useful. It's a little lanyard. You put this around your neck. I'll just show you here. Uh, this part will go underneath your shirt. Right like this. And this part here will go on top. Everything's magnetized. I'm going to go ahead and separate this. So I have the camera only. 
that just clips on there like that, like so, and uh, you're ready to record. Okay, I love it. I love this feature. It, it's going to work for me uh, when I'm out on the trails, uh, uh, on my e-bike, uh, walking the beach, whatever. Uh, also, be using a selfie stick, but I love this feature right here. And it's uh, on here pretty good, real good. You do have to get it turned the right way. Uh, this part right here goes up just like that. Snaps in place. Beautiful thing. Okay, what else is in the box? We got another package here. Now keep in mind this is the uh, um, power combo uh, package. And uh, depending on what package you ha get, uh, it might have different things in it, different accessories uh, and whatnot. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. This guy's really packaged up here. Okay, this guy right here is another magnetic mount. That can be hooked to a, a tripod, a selfie stick, or whatever. And uh, it's got the uh, two tabs on each side that you push in so that you can get your uh, camera in there. So uh, let's go ahead and get that camera on. And the magnets are grabbing. Let's turn it around this way. There we go. Right like that. Okay. Or, wow. That's a strong magnet. We'll go ahead and couple these, uh, that camera up to the uh, battery. And then you can clip it on this same uh, same deal right here, that tripod clip. And now you extended the uh, battery life, 150 minutes. So they thought this out really good, guys. And uh, also, uh, I told you I bought the uh, went with the uh, power combo uh, package versus the uh, creative package which is the uh, front facing camera. And uh, I did pick one of those as an accessory. I picked one of these up so I'd have that as well. So uh, not only did I, was I able to save a little money, uh, I got uh, two batteries. So uh, unboxing the uh, front facing camera. Again, a little protective uh, coating on that uh, display. So got that peeled off. Okay. So this uh, this guy has uh, three microphones on it, and the uh, camera itself has one uh, front-facing uh, uh, microphone. So on this uh, front-facing uh, module that I just pulled out of the box, same thing, clip on each side, just like that. Now you can do a selfie and see what's in the camera on this front, uh, on this forward-facing uh, display. And uh, over here you have uh, the C port right here. power button right here this is really clever guys really clever uh, this camera it has one microphone like I said and uh, the display and uh, 
within the display, if you power this up, there's all kinds of settings in here. You can set the ISO, the uh, shutter speed, uh, just all kinds of stuff. And uh, YouTube, I know uh, they like to go 1080p. And if you go 1080p, uh, that's going to be less information and your uh, storage will last longer for you. And uh, I failed to mention the storage, uh, both on the uh, front facing display module, you have a, a SD, mini SD card slot right here. And also on the uh, power module, You also have the mini SD card slot here. And uh, I did pick up a, a SD card. Now I got to have a list of the SD cards that they recommend, the sizes and the speeds and what have you. Uh, but I went with the uh, 128 gigabyte uh, extreme right here. Uh, you're going to need an SD card for that. So that, that 32 gigabyte is only going to last a short time for you, and it's going to be short video clips. So if you're doing long videos uh, like uh, uh, YouTube or just anything, uh, you're going to need an SD card uh, for storage. And another thing I did pick up for the uh, camera is the uh, magnetic protective case. Okay, let's go ahead and take a peek at this okay we've got two little pieces right here it's a protective case so I pick up the right module here okay this one's for the camera and also a little top uh, button right here line that up with the camera so that just slides in there like that got a little different look gives a little protection and also uh, this one right here Okay, guys, got this uh, protective case here, and we're going to put that over the uh, front facing camera module. Got the button on the uh, case and the button on the uh, front facing uh, display. Line those up. Just slide that in place like so. Whoop, I saw something come on there. Okay. So I guess maybe these do have a little bit of charge, but uh, these cases still give you access to uh, uh, all the ports and all the buttons and uh, that you may need, all your, all your levers. So that's another great feature, these protective cases. Like I said, guys, I'm going to have links underneath the videos uh, uh, where you can check this stuff out for yourself, uh, uh, read up on the descriptions, uh, price them out, uh, pick out different combinations, uh, uh, whatever you want. But uh, and also, uh, I did pick up a, a selfie stick. This guy right here. Remember that uh, mount I showed you? right here that will go right in here and that uh, camera goes right on there like so and right onto the selfie stick okay 
or you can have the uh, front-facing camera on there as well or the uh, power module and uh, of course this extends out and uh, I wanted to show you this feature uh, this particular stick comes with a, uh, a phone holder and uh, you can mount it up here on top and uh, use it for a phone selfie stick or it has this clamp down below here right here it opens up like so and you can take that on or off but you simply screw this phone holder right on this handle Of course, this part right here unscrews, but you got your uh, phone holder on the handle, and you can clip your phone in here. And I haven't mentioned this yet, but you can hook your phone up to this camera, use that uh, phone as a remote, and control your camera, plus get a bigger display of what the camera's actually uh, seeing. So it's a win-win. There's not a lot of these selfie sticks that have this feature. And uh, that's why I went with this one. <clears throat> Plus it uh, has a tripod uh, down here at the end. So you can use it as a tripod as well. The little legs fold down. There's a little lever under here where you lock the uh, uh, feet in. So I like this little uh, assembly right here. Uh, especially for this feature right here. Uh, so when I'm doing my YouTube videos, I can uh, use this and uh, have my phone down below here and have a bigger display of uh, what's going on and uh, I can probably see it a little better because the uh, display on the camera isn't all that big. But all in all, guys, I think I'm going to really like this. Uh, now, this is kind of a, just a quick uh, overview of this camera and talking about it, uh, giving you the size, uh, a little bit about it, and I'm going to add some uh, other features in there, uh, uh, written features uh, that you can check out and uh, study and look over. This feature right here. I love it. I love it. So uh, about any, uh, I would say any GoPro uh, accessory or mount would uh, probably work with this camera. I'm sure to do your research on that as well. But uh, they got a lot of different mounts and a lot of different things you can do with this thing. I'm really excited to get it powered up and, uh, and uh, bring you more videos. Uh, probably the next video will be uh, actually powering up. Uh, uh, hooking it up, uh, you got to register the thing uh, before you can do anything. So, uh, getting the remote control to work, and we're going to do some videos out here and compare uh, uh, different resolutions and uh, speeds and what have you. And uh, we're just going to have fun with it, and I'm going to share it all with you. So, uh, you know, if you're like me, you like to do your research before you buy something, or <clears throat> maybe you're just wanting to learn about what you already have. So, uh, like I say, we're going to continue to have uh, cooking uh, sessions on this channel and uh, uh, on, and how to. Uh, going to show you recipes and a lot of fun stuff, a lot of reviews coming up, and uh, we're just going to have fun. So be sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.